You. you Want to come do something really fun? Yeah. Let's take a break from the video game. Yeah, come here. Dog. Follow me. Dude, check these out. You know what these are? They're, they're goat guns. They're goat guns. So I want to tell the audience real quick all about them. This goat gun right here, I actually built myself, bought myself. This is their gold-plated AK. And I saw these like on Instagram, some videos and stuff like that. And I was kind of interested. I've always kind of been interested in fun little models of either, you know, motorcycles, other toys, and, um, you know, cool looking gu model guns are definitely interesting too and definitely fun for somebody like me. This one actually, I gotta be honest with you, was kind of not entirely a bear to put together, but a little bit tricky. There was some filing involved. Uh, these ones, actually, Goat Guns reached out to me and offered to uh, send them out so that we could put them together. But I bought this one on my own. And like I said, took a little bit of filing to get it together. Kind of tricky, but with that said, let's get on to the ones that they sent me to put together. Let's Go Shadow, on which one are you interested in? What? Torky. You want to do Torky? Torky the Frog Gun. So this is the M4A1 replica. We've also got the Accuracy International Arctic, what is it, something Magnum? We might do this one too if we get time later on, but let's do this guy first. Dude, we got like mini bullets and everything. I got instructions just for you. Happy birthday. Right, here we got the basic part. That's what you call the upper receiver. It's upper also the lower receiver, receiver too. So this is all the upper and a little lower with the grip already attached. I don't know if the grip comes apart or not. I don't see that. Oh, there's a screw in there. So probably you could take the grip off if you wanted to, but yeah, in any case, it's like there's the safety on there. Does the safety work? Tried rocking it back and forth. There. This one? Yeah. <gasps> it works. Safety it's works. so tiny. How does it? What? Look at this. You don't I need exactly to know your way around an AR-15. No, I don't. I don't have one, obviously. Okay, let's get to putting this together. All right. Uh, I don't know where that. I don't know what that is. Or that. I don't know what any of these are. I'm just gonna get all the parts out, and then I stare at those instructions like they are peanut butter toast. Look, everything moves right here. Seriously, everything. Base, yeah. Just come on a roll of tape. How old are you, Bow Shadow? I'm 12. 12 years old. What does the package say on it? It says 12 plus. 12 plus. Oh, 12 good. We're not plus breaking the law. 12. The screwdriver. Is that, all? Is that all that's in that little package? Just a little screwdriver? Yeah, that's it. All right. First things first. Hmm. I don't know what to do first. So this is the birdcage flash hider, but then this is the faux silencer. Oh, you can put that on. So you can put that on in place of the, the, uh, the birdcage. I bet you can unscrew this. I bet you can. Yup. Let's put the silencer on. Oh, that'll look cooler. long just like super long and yeah, once you get it all together it'll look cool okay so that will hold these pieces on there i think sure. in any case there it is okay what i think i got the handguard on all right dude go do the rest That's the rear sight base, so that goes towards the rear of the top. Right. Where's the rear of the top? Right about there. Like Alright, there's the sight. You got it on the right direction? Is that the right direction? This little wing right here is at the front in that picture. So this should go the other way. So pop that off, flip it around. Okay. Is it on there? Yep. Okay, that should be it. 
That kind of wiggles, doesn't it? Right there. Does yeah. it tighten down? I don't know. Can't tell? No, I can't. I don't know how to fit this in. It just stops. Well, you probably attach this to the gun first. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. How's it going on? <coughs> Not going on all the way? Not all the way. This might be one more thing that we need to either force into place or finesse a little bit. Hopefully you don't have to do any filing with this one. Oh, it's got like a little latch right there. See that? See that yeah, latch? I know. I was using that. You were? Mm -hmm. Okay. There it goes. Need a good strong push. So rotating this little piece right here, right there on the rear sight base. Rotate that little thing right there and actually tightens it, holds it down. So now it's not wobbling around too much. Okay, what's next? This magazine. You haven't turned a single screw yet. Have it. All right, you doing the magazine now? What about the stock, dude? We gotta put the stock on. So what you actually have to do is push that down a little bit and then use your fingers and pull this down all the way. Oh! There. Right there. Yeah. So now it's repositionable. Little loose. Whoa, check that out. Bah, bah. They make these things that work as much like uh, a real operational gun as they possibly can without it being a real operational gun. There. Dude, that one pretty much required, required no screw driving. It didn't. It actually didn't at all. Did you get Let's the bolts the, in there? I left out one, but I have two in there. Nice. Wanna do this one now? Yeah. Let's do it. As we build this AWM in time lapse, I want to remind you that Goat Guns provided these two models for this video on the condition that I would speak frankly about my experience with them. After building that gold plated AK, I was a little worried that these two guns would have similar fitment issues. They didn't. Both guns assembled easily with no hangups and we had fun building them. I'm not kidding when I say I'm into this kind of stuff. I've collected model motorcycles made by Welly, a handful of retro action figures, and more modern toys than someone my age should have. It's embarrassing. These Go Gun models fit right in with all that stuff. I really like them. While this video is not a paid sponsorship, Go Guns has offered to sponsor some of my videos in the future. I like them, so I'm inclined to accept, but tell me what you think first. Would you buy one of these? Would you put up with a 20 to 30 second ad in one of my videos for these? Say what you think down below. Back to the video. So this is the AWM, the Arctic Warfare uh, Magnum. And then this one is the M4A1 called Charky. Charky. Oh, does this one come with a... No, it doesn't come with a base. It just is what it is. AWM, the, it's, they call it the American Sniper AWM because it's in this uh, army camo pattern right there. That's pretty I sweet. Didn't, like, fool this, but... Yeah, exactly. There you go. Now you can tote it around and do your 360 no scope with it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Get no scope! How do you even know 360? And then that's because you say it all the time. Then the Charky <laughs> M4A1. So the triggers, you can squeeze the triggers on them. They move. You can see the safety moves on this one. Which is pretty sweet. You can see the scope tell, uh, or, yeah, the the, um, the stock telescopes is what I was trying to say. It's like a four or five position, but it moves. It does what it's supposed to do. And then you saw that this is the silencer screws off, and you can put on the bird cage. Depending on what you, how you like to display it. This is where. Hold on. Does that even move? Yeah, dude. Look at that. Even the sling point moves. It's like everything. That's moves. crazy. How did you? Can adjust the sight on it. How did you pop the magazine out of this one? Okay, I'm gonna push this. You pull the magazine. Pull. That's it. That's it. Put it back in. Nice. Noise. Pull on this right here. This thing. 
pull back. Yeah, pull back. Hey, what's up? What's up? Check that out. Solid. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Charging handle pulls back the bolt. That's cool. It doesn't operate exactly like an AR or a M4, but it's enough of a model, enough of a replica to make you feel like you've got a miniaturized version of it in your hand. Same goes with the AK. Not everything on it works exactly like an actual AK, um, obviously, because it's not one, but you've got a moving safety, you've got a moving trigger, your magazine pops out with the magazine release here, your bolt moves back and forth, and check this out, the top pulls off, you can take this whole thing out too. Isn't that cool? Rear sight moves up and down. I'm way into this kind of stuff, guys. It's just fun to look at, fun to play with, fun to put together. What'd you think? It's fun. Was it fun so or are you just saying that? I'm just saying it. What do you think? It's fun. Maybe we'll keep that one out by the TV. Yes. By your Xbox. Yes. yes. And we'll just keep both of them out by your Xbox. What do you think about that? Yes. Then you got a little replica guns for what you use when you play Fortnite. By the way, you play Fortnite way too much, dude. No. Yes. It's good to take a break and do stuff like this now and then. All right, guys. Goat guns. I like them. They're pretty cool. Ah. Bow Shadow seems to like them. Greatest of all time. Uh, what do they cost? Like 35, 40 bucks per model, depending on what you buy. I think that's a pretty good price, considering how well put together they are. Uh, you can collect a bunch of them. I don't remember how many they've got. They've got eight or ten different models, maybe a dozen. SVD. Nice. The AUG. I'll leave a link down below to where you can buy them, but basically I think it's just GoatGuns.com. That's not right. I'll say so, but there it is. GoatGuns.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for building, partner. You're welcome. You're free to go to bed. Oh, you gotta go to bed now. No more Fortnite for tonight. Not well. See ya. You know what they say. Fortnite is bae. Oh.